Welcome to Snail Trail 4x4. Today we are replacing the idler pulley for the power steering system. It is getting cold here in California, so I have my clean sweater on. So first things first was we removed the, the hose, the big old tube that goes across here and into the intake. Uh, that gives us a little bit better access. So what happened here is that we have this pulley and it's just completely seized, can't even turn it. And that's, you can see where all the black, where the rubber rubbed off and it was just locked up and so the rubber was just spinning right in that spot. Uh, luckily my power steering still spins, so that is a good thing, so my box isn't having any issues. So all we gotta do is pull this pulley off, and get some new belts, I'll probably grab another belt uh, for the alternator while I'm at it, and then replace that pulley and we're back in business. And yeah, look at that dirty ass motor. So this will all get cleaned up. But in able to go to the cleaner, we're gonna have to replace the pulley. So what we got here is a 14 point, and uh, hopefully we can just slip this over and give it a little loose. Many, many years ago, I took my fan shroud off, so that gives me that little bit extra room. Ugh. There we go. Looks like there's a few different things on this pulley. If I can get it off, there we go. Got a nut. We have a lock washer and on the back side there's just a little spacer cap. I'm hoping I can just pop this bearing out and get another bearing and then reuse the whole pulley. Oh, there's a spacer on the front too. It's pretty nasty in there. Um, and then once we get that bearing out, I can just reuse the pulley. The pulley's not bad, it's not bent, it's not warped. I'll clean it up. Um, it's just the bearing that's bad, so hopefully we can pop that out. After looking at the bearing, you can totally tell this thing's jacked. It's got chunks of the bearing right here. That's just the top of the bearings coming out. Uh, you can see down into the ball bearings down at the bottom. They're all just fried. So to get this bearing out, it's just that there's a spring right here, and so you can just pry this back, and that pops the spring up. And it flies way away underneath my toolbox. But then we can just smack this bearing out. It's uh, already toasted, so we don't need to worry about keeping it. Um, I'm just going to hit it from the back side and let it fall out. A 13 16 socket fits right in this hole perfectly just about it there. I'm going to try it with a rubber mallet first and then if uh, that doesn't work we'll go to some more persuasion. Oh yeah, I feel it moving. There we go. You can see this thing's just torn up. It's just probably old and beat up and dirty and nasty but I have the pulley and it's all perfectly fine. So I'll just see if I can get that bearing and use that bearing again and just put it back in here, clean this thing up really nice. Worst case scenario, I have to buy the whole pulley assembly and all. So uh, off to the hardware store or auto parts store. So I found uh, the new bearings at the auto parts store. It's a 24 FF, that's the bearing. For the pulley, the idler pulley for power steering, a 22 RE. So what we're going to do is put that on a rag so we're not damaging the pulley. We're going to put this guy down. Oh, um, And one of the tricks is that you want to, when you hit this in, you can only hit it on the outside rim on the race. Uh, that way that you're not damaging the bearing or anything on the inside. So I found this, uh, I don't even know what this thing is, came off of something. Um, and it fits perfectly on the outside. It might not go all the way down. I might have to figure out something there. But for right now, just placing this in here, and it actually snugs in just a little bit, so it's a little tight, so it's nice. And then we're going to grab that hammer, and we're going to just tap it in. So these didn't go down far enough, so I'm going to have to find out, figure out something else that's going to fit in there 
to let it go down far enough so I could put that clip in there. Also, I, what I didn't tell you is I cleaned it off really good. Um, I did just a little bit of carb cleaner and a wire brush and um, scraped off all that sur surface rust in there and cleaned off the inside. Also cleaned off the little channel in there where that snap spring thing goes in. And uh, so that will be able to snap right back in. So now we just need to get this down a little bit further and then I can put that snap ring in. So being smarter than the average bear, you know, we could just use the old uh, bearing because we can bang this up and it doesn't matter because it's already all broken. And this is the perfect size. So we're just gonna tap this in the rest of the way. And there we go. New bearing in. Whoop, spinning. Now I'll just put that clip back in. All right, fully assembled. Now to just put it back in the vehicle. So it did come with this spacer for the bolt to be the correct size and to fit through. And so that goes up here in the front. The clip was in the front and then the washer was on the back side and that fits perfectly in there. Then that cap went on the top and over all of the front parts and say a cap went on over the back. That's how this went together. So I'm gonna put that together and I'm gonna slip it back onto the bolt that's inside the vehicle and then put a belt on it and we got a vehicle running again. Woo! So I've got the pulley all back together, same order as when I took it off. Um, we're just gonna put the pulley back on and then we have to put the belt back on. I already did the alternator belt uh, because that the power steering belt is in front of that one so I figured while that one's off I might as well replace the one that's behind it so that's probably a good idea to do that one as well so now let's just put the pulley on put the belt on and then tighten it up and we're done yay spinning pulley awesome now we're just gonna add the belt all the way down and around the fan Still wants to be a little bit of a wiggle on there, but not a lot. You don't need it super duper extra taut. You don't need it the tightest it will ever be, but you do want a little bit of play in there. It's getting pretty close. Let me make sure the front bolt's tight again. Liking that, maybe a few more cranks. And then we put the air back together, air intake, and we are good. I like that. All right. Now that the air intake tube is on, we're all buttoned up and complete. I'm gonna crank it on. Let's see if these tires turn. Thanks for watching this episode of Snail Trail 4x4 where we worked on the idler pulley on my power steering. We were able to just to replace that bearing, so that saved us a little bit of money. We didn't have to buy the whole pulley and everything like that. Next step is we're going to clean this guy out because it's just dirty and embarrassing, and I felt bad showing that to everybody. But I wanted to show this tip before I you know, had to go to the clean it, so it kind of worked out. I'm embarrassed, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hammer down on that subscribe button. Make a comment below if you like these little tips and tricks. You want me to do more of these? Let me know. 
And don't forget, keep crawling.